prolific artist Larry Walker is dedicating portraits to Memphis leaders with a new exhibit. The exhibit will highlight leaders in the community, 12 to be exact, portraits of notable Memphis clergymen who have supported and led in their respective communities. The exhibit will be an ode to those who have served the community as a point of light. I did get started from an art contest, ninth grade. Now, most people don't realize this, I was a late starter. I don't know about you guys, but my prize was a ribbon and a candy bar. <laughs> now you might have thought, that ain't nothing. It, oh, that was big time for me. I used to walk around with the candy bar like it was a trophy. I tied that ribbon around my neck like it was a medallion. I just could not believe that I had won something. Introduced the winners of the art contest and we're gonna give them their prize money because if they were like me, I was excited about winning anything. So this is equivalent to a uh, Three Musketeer bar. <laughs> Yeah. 
know I can't sing. Well, first of all, I love Larry. He's like a brother. He was in my wedding when I got married. I know how good of an artist he is because he did a portrait for my mom and dad, uh, Dr. Nesby Austin and Bishop Betty Austin, and it is presented here also. And every time I look at it, both of them are deceased, so it's just a blessing for me to have the portrait to be able to look at and talk to when I'm missing them. So I'm really grateful to them for that. And just not only to just read about history, but today to be a part of history. Thank you, Larry Walker, uh, for such a generous uh, thing that you've done, not only for Brown, but for just for the community as you've celebrated visible light in the midst of our community. Oh, it was awesome. The thing that he did to honor the pastors in our community that are spreading light to the world. I am so very proud to be here and have experienced this. I have been the recipient of the legacy of this, this portrait that hangs in our home. Tonight was the first portrait of lights, of vision. And I was here to experience all 12 pastors revealing of their portraits to say that the legacy has begun for those families. I can only say, personally, it was worth the investment, the time, the effort, the timeless portrait of a capture of an individual that you love. You don't treasure until you no longer have it. But to have an oil painting done by our very own Larry Walker, the artist, my play brother, who was adopted by my mother. Tonight was the first night, like I said, of the visual portraits of life. And it was awesome. Big shout out to artist extraordinaire Larry Walker. That brother know he can paint, draw, do the doggone thing. The visible portraits of light art exhibit turned out really great this weekend. Nice turnout, according to Larry Walker and his, his wife Sharonda. Of course, uh, we mentioned it on the show in Stormer's Report. But if you know Larry Walker, he is one incredible artist. And, uh, man, big shout out to those of you who supported him in that effort over the weekend. Where he did these, art, he did these paintings for clergymen. And, uh, man, he, they really look nice. So that's what we want to get behind our, our locals who are doing some wonderful things. Larry Walker, Northside Cougar. I think he was class of 75, something like that. And, uh, man, he was dynamite. You know, with that easel and that painting and that, and that his artistry, he could draw all of that. So now it's really uh, coming to fruition. All right, stay in Star School Power by Washington Brothers Roof and give him a call, 486 06 Oh, nah, let's check traffic.